Hammer two. How do I look? Fantastic. <laughs> okay, speed. All right, let Aiden in. Oh. Otherwise, no. Let's Quiet in sad. the set. Camera two. Sound. <laughs> I had to come here my first day of school and take OGTs. I barely spoke any English. And they were like, yeah, welcome to America. You gotta take state stamps. In here, there's a lot of people that talk to us differently. Like, they think that we're, we're stupid or something like that. Especially when the first days that I came to America, it was really hard. And uh, because I didn't have any English, like uh, my English was zero, uh, I can't talk to them. So they always laugh at me, and especially at the school. And they think I'm stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, at first it was kind of hard because we don't know, we didn't understand anything, you know. But we have each other, so it was like, it was like we weren't alone. I think confusing. I mean, all the classes and the hallways, they were pretty much confusing. Uh, the first time, I was in sixth grade, middle school. I was so excited. But the first time when I came to high school, I was scared. Even I cried. <laughs> I didn't want to let go uh, of my dad. I was like, I wanted him to come with me because I didn't think it's going to be like this huge and I don't know if it was so scary. It's awkward. I really don't know English and I was walk alone and go everywhere alone and I got no friend. Someone asks you what's the reason that you're here in America, what would you tell them? Because uh, first we were we were just coming to visit here, but in the time like the same week uh, we were going like the same week we had our uh, we're gonna travel in just to visit. We had the war in that week, so we couldn't come back. My country for the past twenty years they have been civil war. Like, it depends where do you live, if it's depend, um, if it's controlled by the government or the Al-Shabaab. So if it's the government, you will have good life than the other places where the Al-Shabaab people control. Even though, even though there is a war, I still felt peace in there. Like, um, we were like, some days we were like, when we sleep, we know, like, we didn't know if we we're gonna wake up or no, but I still like, I wasn't afraid, I still felt peace. I mean, I, I feel sad because, I, you know, I have been there uh, during the war, and a lot of things happened to me. Like, uh, I, I, my, me and my family was in the danger, you know. Uh, so, uh, a lot of bad stories happened to us. We was walking me and my friend in the street and uh, my friend got shot in the head from a sniper. And uh, a lot of bad stories like this happened to me. And my dad was like in military air force, he was serving like in military air force, so he served like I think maybe for 10 years or something. And like in 2011, like at the end of 2011, um, he was fighting with like the terrorist group called Al Shabab, and 
I heard like the military told us like their plane crash or something like that. Yeah. Because growing up in a place when you can get killed 24-7 when you go inside, it's not easy. It's not easy seeing your family dying from a starvation because you have to do a 20 hours line just to get something barely to eat. That is not cool that when you come to a place when they say you're supposed to be feel welcome, you don't feel welcome at all. I felt sad because and I lost my dad and I don't know like the real story about what happened and yeah my life is so changed it's it's make me know how to survive and make me know how to get stronger I oh, was up yeah, I found it um, like two weeks before. And um, she told me that um, we that um, she wanted us to come and live with my dad. I never met my dad before. At the beginning, um, I didn't take it like that serious, but then when I came, it was hard because I, I lived with my dad all my life and my mama. <laughs> I mean, uh, people people think that uh, we are as a Syrian people or or uh, Arab people. We're all like bad, and we kill each other. We we don't like each other, but that's wrong. Like in every country, there is a bad people and there is a good people. Uh, the only difference in here there is a strong government, and they. Uh, they hold the people. Over there, we didn't have a strong government. That's why, like, the bad people start killing and no one can stop them. And, like, the other countries start thinking that, you know, we, we kill each other. All Muslim or all our people are like that, you know. We like to kill each other. Well, we're not like that. I mean, there's good and bad and you don't have to judge a book by its cover. If one person, one uh, individual person do something, doesn't ma it doesn't mean the, the whole group, they are bad people. Like every place, everywhere, and every country, there's bad people and good people. So if, if one person do bad thing and we say it, everyone is bad, I don't think gonna have peace. When I came from my country I never thought like someone will don't like me because of my religion. I never thought about it. Or even like that there's people they will hate you because of your religion or because of where you came from. I never like think about it like that. So when I came here it was really like it was a new thing. It was scary. Most people think my religion is scary. They have bad idea about Muslim. They think we kill. They are scared about how we dress. If they see hijab, they, f um, they will be like, they will figure out like, they don't know, like, they act weird. Muslim means peace. My religion means peace. And a group of people, there's a group of people who are using our name, Muslim name, in a bad way. They're killing, they do whatever they want, bombing the innocent people. So it's sad to find um, your religion is being called like bad people. I mean, yes, because I'm a Muslim, you know, there's a lot of towards like the, the woman and the girls wearing a hijab or so a lot of Americans don't like it, so they'll start calling us names or acting 
wear. My religion, the thing I feel proud is my everything. They don't have to be afraid of hijab. Hijab is my modesty, it's my love to God. I think that my accent does not define me because I have different skin color. It does not make me non-human. Because I grew up in a different place does not mean I, I don't feel or I don't have feelings. I want them to know how hard or how difficult I got here. I want them to know how much I learned. It's not how easy. How, um, how, how hard is to leave your country? That it's not easy to leave your country and your family and your friends and everything you have. Yeah. I mean, I'm here like anyone else, like you or him, whoever's going to ask me. I'm here for either work, education, or to live a better life. I would say that my mother is a fighter and she wanted more than seeing her daughters look away and wondering what is going to happen to them. Are they going to come back after they go from school? Are they going to be safe? Are they going to have a future? Are they going to study what they want or they're just going to go with the flow? If someone asks me that question in a nice way, he, he deserves to get an answer and my answer will be I'm here like many other kids who are immigrants who, um, who escaped their country because of civil war, hunger and diseases in search of bright future. That will be my answer for them. What do you want to do in the future? Um, be a musician. What do you want to do in the future? I want to be a nurse. I want to go to, I want to go to all places that have war and to help people there. Uh, I want to study for a surgeon. I go to college and study for a surgeon. I told you that I want to help people in my country and, uh, and not even uh, and the second one is even here you know I can help people that need help I want to do arts even though my family was kind of against it I really like arts and I found out that here I like to do pictures and to record people and I like to see a bigger frame than the one that people took People tend to show themselves towards. Uh, we want to go to college. Uh, I want to be an um, interior designer. Interior designer. <coughs> um, I want to do architecture. Yeah, I'm thinking about design too. Uh, I hope so. I go to college and I hope to be in the medical field. I want to become a doctor. I want to be a doctor and I also like to play volleyball.